And welcome back to the third hour of today. Craig Melvin here in New York. Alan Chanel working from home. And as, as all of you probably know, this is a very important week for people of different faiths. Tonight, of course, marking the first night of Passover, where Jewish families traditionally gather together for a Seder dinner. This is also Holy Week for Christians, culminating on Easter Sunday, which usually means mass, family gatherings, Easter egg hunts. Uh, but this year, of course, celebrations will be looking very different. Here to here to talk us through that, Rabbi, Rabbi Sharon Browse is the senior rabbi of ECAR in Los Angeles. Reverend Jackie Lewis is the senior minister of Middle Collegiate Church here in New York City. Uh, thank you both for, for being with us. And Rabbi, let me start with you because Passover, of course, starts tonight, the highlight of the ho- holiday traditionally, uh, that, that Seder dinner, a lot of folks gathered around the table because of social distancing. We can't do that this year. We'll have those, those, those Zoom uh, and Skype Seders. What do you want people to know, Rabbi, during this difficult time? Well, thanks so much for having us, and I'm really honored to be with you today. Look, this this is the holiday of all of the holidays in the in the year that most Jews are most likely to observe, and that's because at the heart of this holiday is one of the most powerful narratives. It's a story that we tell not only to teach history, but to transmit values and ideas. And the core idea of this narrative is really a story of hope. It's a story of our people who moved from enslavement to freedom, from from narrowness to expansiveness, from anguish into a place of joy. And that's a story that I think we need perhaps more than than ever before this year. Your synagogue, um, like a, a, a lot of, of churches um, as well, has been um, streaming the services online. And, and you say that you seem to have found a bit of a silver lining um, in terms of the digital space through all of this. As much as we've spent the last decade and a half really building community in person and resisting the the tendency to to isolate with our devices and move away from real community and learned how to show up for each other and be present and grieve and dance and cry together, in the last month in this time of isolation, we've found that these very same technologies have allowed people to come together in extraordinary ways, both to, to celebrate Shabbat and other Jewish traditions, but also to bring comfort to mourners. Um, and to really show presence, to show up for people when they feel that this plague of darkness, of isolation, has really separated them from those they love. And I'm sure that we'll find similar s- silver linings this year in Passover as well. The Reverend Jackie, so many folks right now are anxious, worried, scared, just downright fearful. But, but you want people to know that it's times like these uh, that really bring out the best in all of us, right? That's right. That's so good to to just remind people of that. You know, this holiday for Christians is a celebration also of liberation. In fact, we have to be reminded of the Jewishness of our Rabbi Jesus, who we call the Christ at these times, and how his people celebrated liberation, God's freeing them from bondage. And we're celebrating that not only does God free us from bondage, that death doesn't have the last word. Even in the valley of the shadow of death, There is a presence of God amongst us. There's love amongst us. And I want people to find a way to look at the connections with each other, the neighborliness of each other that remind us that there's a divine spark in each of us, that we're able to be um, love and light for each other, even in this moment of crisis. Reverend Jackie, you say it's not just the big Sunday services uh, that that we need during, during times like these. There are other touch points along the way. Give us some examples. Well, we are about a 1,300-member congregation, and our staff are calling every single one of our members. Uh, We're doing care on social media, you know, Twitter chats and uh, conversations on Instagram. People are finding words of hope. You can call our uh, phone number or put a prayer request in the website. But most importantly, I think, are our small groups that have now gone to Zoom. And to be honest with you, Craig, we're doing a better job now than ever of making intimate pockets of connection and love and resilience for our people because Sunday morning isn't quite enough. On Wednesday, you lost your mom. On Tuesday, you felt sad about a friend. On Thursday, you uh, remembered it was your birthday. So we're trying to reach out to people throughout the week so they feel connected. Rabbi, I hear you've got quite the digital star-studded event happening this weekend featuring folks like uh, Adina Menzel, Ben Platt, (laughs) Billy Eichner. Uh, What is it? How can we check it out really quickly? Oh, there is this beautiful collaborative event called Saturday Night Seder, which I'm honored to be a part of, though certainly not 
responsible for. Um, but I think it's a beautiful combination of uh, musicians, artists, comedians, and a couple of rabbis, and hopefully will help lift people up. And I hope that all of these efforts to bring our rituals into our homes will help re religious folks realize that the holiest and best thing that we can do today is stay at home Amen. because it's detrimental to our faith communities and to the entire country if we go out and persist in, in, in ga gathering Rab together. So, Rabbi Bross, thank you. Reverend Jackie thank you. Lewis, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank for you so much. God bless you in this holy season. God bless the both of you as well.